Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are welcome to the channel and we would love to have you here. I would love to have you and please do well to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your time. So, um, first of all, I want to apologize for my previous videos. I was told that I talk a bit fast and I know naturally I can talk a bit fast. So, and I consciously wanted to talk slowly because it's a tutorial and of course I'm, I'm sharing knowledge so um, I think I kind of got ahead of myself and I missed it somewhere so I really want to apologize if that was a bit of an inconvenience to you so today what we'll be doing we'll, I'll, be, I'll be sharing with you how um, to cut and sew a mermaid skirt of course for mermaid skirts we have various designs of mermaid skirts like here I have like six different designs of mermaid skirts but the important is that the silhouette that's the outline the outer shape remains the same so that's what i do so i have like six of them but what i'll do i'll use a mini size to show you how to cut and how to cut and i will join like three of them then i would do one life size that's my own size for the round so from our previous as in two tutorials back we ended with the application of body measurements so we can so i want to use this one to show us how to apply body measurements for skirts then although the video for last one was a video i had done a, a while back and i decided that I, I, was, I wasn't sure if i should upload it or not upload it but then again something occurred so i decided that maybe i should upload it and i didn't really share to other platforms because i had some issues i had to sort out last that day so i couldn't really share it i didn't really have the time where i, I kind, it kind of skipped my mind so but I think it will be helpful to one or two people. So we'll proceed with our tutorials. So I'll just show you guys how we cut and sew our mermaid skirts. I'll just have the camera adjusted and that is it. So um, if you look here, I have um six different designs of what a mermaid skirt is. Because that's the fish skirts that some people actually address it as fish skirts. So we have the ones that are just plain in front then of course you can decide that that's why i use broken lines to show that you can decide that you can put a slit in front of it which could be in the middle or by the side then we have the paneled mermaid skirts of course the paneled ones is like the one that you call like four pieces which is the most common ones are four pieces six pieces and eight pieces paneled mermaid skirts as per eight pieces mermaid skirts or eight panel skirts then of course we have the one that you also have the goddess and of course it's also um what you know that there are some times that you could you have this plain one then insert your goddess into it you can insert in front different ways just that they are mermaid skirts with goddess but i decided to do six panel mermaid skirts with goddess then we also have the ones that has the mermaid skirts that have the train behind this is the back side that's why i put the zip here so you know that this is the back of the skirt so we have the one that have like a goddess acting as the train. Then we also have the one that it's not a goddess, it just flows from the back, from the center back. You cut it and it just flows that way. You don't have to insert a goddess. Then we also have the one that you just attach a flare underneath a straight knee length skirt. So those are the six designs. But out of the six designs, what I will be doing, I'll be showing you how to, I'll just pick like three and show you how to cut them using a mini size then i will cut my own size a life size that's my size of one of the designs so that's the process so let's just go ahead so um the mini size we are going to use we are going to use like um we are going to use assume measurements so this was we are going to use like we are going to use measurements waist eight inches Keep 12 inches knee level. Let's say short length. Let's say knee level 6 inches, then full length. Full length will be 12 inches. Or oh, we'll just use the full length of the paper. So that is all we're going to use. Then we're going to use that half inches to cut it so we are going to be doing so i'm going to show you how to cut it so the first one we are going to do we are going to do okay so let me number this design so that we would look at them one after the other so this is going to be one two three 
four, five, six. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, do design four mm, because I already have one that it has got it. Set. So let's do the back design two and um let's just do design okay design one two and four design one two and four that is what we are going to do so i will show you i will be cutting them to the side so let's start with design one Remember our waist measurement is 8 inches, so 8 divided by 4, 4. Remember the way we apply our measurements, you get 2 inches. Then our sewing, we'll be using sewing allowance for half inch and that for half inch. So we'll do this, half inch for that and half inch for sewing allowance. Then our hip level, remember how we get our hip level? Our hip level is our hip measurement divided by 4 minus 1 so our hip measurement here is 12 inches divided by 4 gives us 3 inches 3 inches minus 1 gives us 2 inches so I always like two point markings because I feel when you, that way it's more accurate now we've gotten that so what we are going to do is that since our knee level is six inches we wouldn't be using that because you know when you're using a mermaid sketch you don't it, do, it doesn't the skirt or the dress doesn't fish out from the knee even though it's going to cause some inconvenience when walking so you go like a few inches an inch or a few a few inches away from the knee so what we'll be doing here we'll be using five inches all right i'll be using five and a half but where the scared to fish out remember i'm going to so our hip measurement this is for our hip this is our waist this is our hip the hip measurement is 12 we do four plus half inch for sewing here we put because of the darts then so here, let's just do two inches, then we add half inch for the sewing, because eventually it's still going to expand because of the don't make it straight just look like you're trying to draw a triangle so let's use our french to cough this out properly okay so before we proceed i just wanted you to know that the Normally, the front of your waist is not the waist of your skirt is not mm, straight, straight, straight. That kind of thing. It's a bit on the curved side. I like to use my tracing wheel to ensure that the line on this side shows up on the other side. Remember, we are doing the first design. So let's mark. You know where I am. So.
this line we are using we are going to use this line to open up the front of the skirt to give it that to enable the skirt to flare out some more So this is what so the width is dependent on what you want eventually so what I would do I would just cut out I'll place this on the fabric and cut it out for us to see I've already placed I've already included my sewing allowance into this pattern paper but normally it's advisable most people wouldn't do that but i personally i prefer to do that because i feel i might as well take the time and put it into mermaid skirt If you want to put slip, that's another design altogether. But what I'm doing right now, I'm just showing you how to do one without slits whatsoever. So this is your mommy skirt, the front piece. So if you wanted to, if we wanted to cut the back, we'll put one inch. This is the center front. Remember, what I'll just need to do when I'm out, I could take this one. That if I this, if I choose not to cut the pattern for the back, what I'll do, I will take this one place it on the fabric it also has to be double folded into two also i'll place this on the fabric let me see I am not cutting the pattern all I'll do I'll take this one place it this front piece always indicates always indicates this is my center front that is design one for your mermaid skirt then I'll cut the second design also so let me just mark this as design one then the second design which is a paneled mermaid skirt which is this one the second design which is paneled for design two design two we don't necessarily have to cut fold the paper we'll keep the paper whole like this then all we need to do the waist is eight inches pretty hip level waist measure and um, hip measurement which is 12 divided by 4 gives us 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so the hip level it does the distance between the waist and the hip is 2 inches you mark that so remember our knee level or scattering so but here what we'll do let me use five. And this is like the first one I felt it was too long. So like I sit there. So the hip is 12 divided by 4. You get 3 inches. Then you put your half inch for sewing allowance. Here we do two inches then one inch per sewing two inches then one inch for sewing then 
use your curl ruler get yourself a good curl Remember, it's a four paneled man eight skirt. Remember, it is four panels, so it means all we are going to do here is that we are going to flare out each side. Normally, do I just use my eye to gauge the middle? Okay, let's just say based on experience, which is. Let's say the whole thing is two three quarters, so at the end of the day, it's supposed to be like one, yeah, two three quarters. It's supposed to be one and three line, which is about almost there. So I've gotten that. So what you do? You draw like a triangle. Remember, we need to join the two front piece at the middle, and this is the uh, center front. Remember to always label your patterns, your pattern paper, always label it so you don't get confused along the line. This is our center front, so the center front means that, remember it's a four paddled mermaid skirt, so it means that you'll be joining it at the middle. Like I always say, always have a picture of what you want to do with you. So remember to include half inch. When you want to place on your fabric, when you're placing the pattern paper on your fabric. So include it. So what we are going to do, I'll get our fabric and we would. You could either cut it one after the other or you could cut them together both piece together okay so remember we have keeping a half inch for our sewing allowance we're leaving half inch for sewing allowance so what you do you follow this remember this triangle cut at the middle is to enable us So this is the four panel. So this is the front. So remember it should be sewn down. So you can decide that okay you want this to be a slit. But generally this is it. This is for the four panels. So you just so. Face 
this down so you have this is the silhouette but this is four pants because you have two for front and you also have two for back the back one of course you put the zip here then you sew it straight down so that is the second one then